Hey, what's going on everyone? Got this 2004 Chevy Tahoe back in the garage. Gonna make a really quick and simple video on how to replace the fuel filters on it. And I'll show you real quick here. Got the fuel filter off Amazon. That's gonna be the part number. And in order to do this job, you need to get this low profile fuel line disconnect tool. Uh, this was 15 bucks on Amazon. First thing I'm gonna do is open up the uh, gas cap and pull that off. Then go ahead and pop your hood. On the driver's side fender here, locate your fuse box, pull the lid off. Flip that lid upside down and locate your fuel pump relay. So it looks like it's gonna be right there. So then come over to your fuse box and it's gonna be this relay right here, that gray one. So go ahead and start the engine. And then with the engine running, go ahead and pull that fuel pump relay until the engine dies. Turn your key off. And then go ahead and replace that fuel pump relay. And then go ahead and throw your lid back on. And then you'll want to crawl right underneath the uh, driver door here. Along the frame rail is going to be the fuel filter. And then this is going to be your fuel filter. And we're going to try and pull this line off first. And then what you want to do is grab your special tool along with the uh, these silver fittings here. And you'll want to go at kind of an angle. Stick this bottom one up in there first. Kind of like that. And then uh, this top one here. So kind of like that. And then you take your tool and you go in here at the side and you want to get the, uh, that those silver pieces inside this little groove here on the top and the bottom there. So push it on kind of like that and then just kind of pry a little bit and then that should, should have released the clips inside of this fuel line. And then you can kind of take a flat head here and then just kind of pry it off. And then make sure you got a drip pan ready. So kind of like that. Then for the other side, grab yourself a 13 16 wrench and also a 5 8 line wrench. 13 sixteenths on the fuel filter and take your line wrench and then go ahead and loosen those Now we should be able to pop this fuel filter out of here. May have to pry on this a little more to get it off of the fuel filter here. Even with that fuel pressure relieved, there's still quite a bit of pressure on it. Now I don't believe we have to take this out. It should just slide out of here. Just got to get this line out of the way. Like that. 
let that drain. And then you should just be able to pop this out. Okay, so comparing the old one to the new one, as you can see the old one says AC Delco, so this is part of the original fuel filter, and this has about 170,000 miles on it, so I think it's time to change it. And then the new one, about the same size, um, but this new one comes with this plastic piece um, on the quick disconnect, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look and see if we need to remove the old disconnect that's inside the fuel line real quick so looking inside that line there you can see the the metal clip I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out because I'm gonna use that new plastic one because I think on that plastic one it'll be easier to change out next time so I'm just gonna grab some needle nose try to get a hold of one of them and pull that out of there Should just come out of there. So that's what that looks like. And then we go ahead and put in our new filter. Tuck this line up out of the way here. Kind of like that. We'll screw in our line here. And see if we can snap that on here. Just like that and then double check just make sure that won't pop off so now it should be easier with this plastic one because all we got to do is squeeze the two ends to remove it next time so that'll be a lot easier so yep yeah, that should be it we're on there and we're tight that ain't popping off then you go ahead and replace your gas cap And then we can go ahead and start it. I'll turn the key and let the fuel pump run for a minute. And go ahead and start it. So with it running, go ahead and uh, check for leaks. And it looks like we're dry, so we should be good. So that's going to do it for the video. Again, this was a 2004 Chevy Tahoe 5.3 liter uh, flex fuel. And I went ahead and replaced the fuel filter. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.